In this video, I'm going to show you how to use cache coding on Xero. The first thing you need to do is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Now from there, you can either access your reconciliation tab by clicking on the accounting and then select bank accounts, which I will open in a new window. And from here, we can select the account in question and click on the reconcile blank items. Now, alternatively, if you have the account in question uh, present or visible in your dashboard, you can also see that you can already access the reconciliation button right there. So we're going to go ahead and do that since it's much quicker. I just showed you that it's possible to do it on either process in case uh, you're looking for a different account. So we're going to go ahead and close this for now. And then from here, we should be able to see a list of all the items or uh, transactions that we need to reconcile. We can also see that there is a cache coding tab right next to the reconcile. So uh, generally speaking, this section is already enough to help you reconcile what you need to reconcile. But then again, you're going to have to go through every single transaction one by one. So if you need to, uh, or if you need a much simpler and more efficient way to uh, edit the details of similar transactions or reconcile them in one go, you're going to be needing to use the cache coding feature. So uh, the cache coding feature allows you to do just that, which is also a uh, very much beneficial for those who have years worth of transaction transactions that need reconciliation and a bunch of details edited so from here you can see that uh since this is a fairly new demo company account there aren't much transactions but nonetheless we can still apply the same principle that it'll make our lives easier when we want to reconcile and edit details in one go. So if we check this spreadsheet like uh, page, we can see that we have categories in uh, blue link. This only means that we can sort these transactions either by date, payee, reference, or description. So from here, we can try, uh, let's say, we're going to sort out by payee. And if we do that, we can see that we have two 7-Eleven transactions over here. And we have central parking over here. We have the one similar close by to each other. Cooper Street Bakery, eBank Dep, and so on and so forth. Now from here... If we try ticking, let's say uh, we need to reconcile and edit the details on Central City Parking, we're just going to tick all the boxes with that payee. And then under description, let's say these are uh, uh, parking fees. If we hit enter on this or after typing the description, it should auto populate the rest. And if we need to put it, put them under one account, let's say, uh, sure, let's try going with bank fees. It'll do the same. It'll auto populate the details for us. And we're going to, Go with tax exempt since they're bank fees and just like that the details will be auto populated on the fields right on the boxes that we've ticked and this will allow us to save and reconcile the selected items in one click so once we do that we can see five were saved and reconciled successfully and that's already a huge chunk removed from our list of transactions. Now for another example, we have here the 7-Eleven payee. 
we're going to tick these boxes and as we can see the description is already provided so is the account and the tax rate so if these are already provided there's nothing else uh, we need to do we just need to select all the transactions that are relevant or have the same payee and click save and reconcile now again this is a much quicker way to reconcile what you need to reconcile under a specific bank account but if you need to go into further details per transaction then you can just make use of the reconcile tab over here now another feature we have on the cash coding is that if we say select a bunch of uh, transactions we can choose to apply a specific rule if we have any bank rules set on uh, spend money rules or receive money rules we can apply them to the transactions that are picked and basically um, if you have a bunch more of uh, transactions that have let's say not just payee that have the same date maybe or have the same description then you can categorize them as such like this one we have f over here we can categorize them together and reconcile them all at once and that's about it that's how you use cache coding on zero if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you out.